Hi, everybody, and welcome to Gen Friends. I'm Sherry Hudson Passy from Carolina Girl Genealogy. And tonight with me, I have got two great guests. I've got, well, two great panel members that are that are here. And we just, I'm so grateful that you're here and consistent and show up and are my Gen Friends. We have, we have <laughs> Shelly Murphy, the family tree girl. Hi, Shelly. Hello there. So good to have you on and talk to you tonight. Thank you. And we have Mary Kircher Roddy from MKR Genealogy. Hi, Mary. Hi there. So good to have you on too. So tonight we're going to be talking about the Josh. Um, how do you say his last name? I know it. Demel. Demel. That's Demel. right. Josh Demel. Um, I just went blank yeah. there for a second. <laughs> episode. <laughs> episode um, it has more letters in it than, than, than it, it says. Sounds exactly. Like. I mean, I know it is. I just totally went blank. My mind went. Meep. Anyway, episode of Who Do You Think You Are, which I absolutely loved. I liked it because I've been in some of those places where he was. So I really yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah. So um, anybody, Mary, you want to go first? They started off in uh, California. Yeah. So they started off at, at his house and, and Jen Utley from Ancestry was the genealogist. And so yeah, I'm waiting kind for of her to, to see her. her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was that was great. Yeah. And I think it's because they did some DNA. Yes. Yeah. 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 So that's kind of how they they really started with him was on his um, ethnicity profile. And which, which I thought was really interesting and wondering if it was to show, look, this is your ethnic. I can't even say the word. See, it's just <laughs> <laughs> this is what you are. <laughs> you're all, you're yeah. all British. Now we're going to show you on, in the yes. paper trail where this is coming in. So I thought that was kind of interesting that they did it that way. So, yeah. which is good though, yeah. in one sense. Go ahead, Mary. I, um, well, you, no, you go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll make my comment later. <laughs> I, I was just saying, I thought that was good since you brought that up and the route they went and then what, you know, Sherry said, I think starting out with some of that, um, the DNA piece and the ethnicity was kind of good because you think about people that are, don't deal with this every day like we do. And, mm -hmm. and we're not talking about, you know, just an hour a day. We're in here daily, hours, and things <laughs> like that. So, you know, it's an addiction. But I think for the average person that doesn't do research, they kind of, they, they should be able to walk along while they're watching the show mm -hmm. and learn or pick up right. tips or something, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, showing... Uh, how the paper trail might match mm -hmm. what what you're seeing in those um, ethnic um, estimates um, is is interesting. I mean, uh, you know, as G G tend to poo poo a lot of that. Yeah, um, I have used some of it in tr you know trying to solve adoption cases, and you know when you know that you're working on on somebody and you see that half their tree is Italian and you know that's not the side you're working on, you can pretty much right. you know, ignore a lot of stuff. So there are, exactly. are ways to use yeah. that. Um, and and they're, you know, they, with Josh, they told us that, that he's got a lot of English. Lot and so then English. they took us to England. To, <laughs> to exactly. I loved, I loved that he wanted to uh, learn more about his grandmother's family because he had such a close yeah. connection with her and how he described yes. her. I just loved that. But I'm thinking he must have had some gateway ancestor because, whoa, she says, we're going to start building yeah, your family they, tree. And then it goes back to his what? 12th times great grandmother. 11th. Well, well, yeah. Uh, in in Los Angeles, Thomas. they had it to the 11th. Yes. Yeah. Thomas was the 12th. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. Wasn't that to but that, he didn't see that one until he got to, to, right. yeah. to England. It was the yeah, yeah, 11th so he, he had in Los Angeles. I love and it. then Yeah. Yeah. And, and for people it. watching that may not know what I'm talking about, um, gateway ancestor, those are ones that when you connect to them, it's the gateway because somebody has clear has has done that work and there's proof and there's sources and, and you just go woo right on the line. So yeah, I haven't found any of those. Yeah. Well, I've got one. So Patrick Russ and I are working on yes. this, and and he he's looking at it from the aspects of the DNA piece because mm -hmm. I'm saying I have questions mm -hmm. and I need answers to help what I'm doing. Because I'm looking at Quaker 
information and all of this revolves around coming from England into New yeah. Jersey yeah. and, and Quakers. And, and I don't know if you were on their show listening to them today, yep. Yep. but that was some of the, and the question I was wondering, could they have switched and not when they came into Virginia, did they stop being a Quaker? Maybe. And so I know. was trying, yeah, I was trying to you figure that you out. You mentioned that, and that's what that's what was happening on on the show, because yeah. um, his ancestor was uh, Catholic, the Catholic and then, Protestant, mm -hmm. and the Protestant. So he went to York, is where he went first. He went yes. to York, England, and found out that his ancestor, this um, Thomas Norton, was a student. He had gone to college. He'd gone to Cambridge. Cambridge. How cool in the 1500s to be able to have a ledger. Yeah, and have and your ancestor's name. Just His that's signature was just there, amazing. Mm -hmm. And they mm -hmm. learned that in in Cambridge at that time period, one of the things mm -hmm. he would have been studying would have been religion, and that was during the time period where Henry the Eighth was deciding, hmm. I need to get a divorce and I can't. <laughs> so I need to come up with my own religion. So Correct. Correct. that's what was going on in that time period. Uh, so he was able to see that. And, and he really had some interesting questions about, you know, if he's, what is he studying? And then he discovers that he, he is um, Catholic. And then he, he starts studying and, and he's, he's becoming a Protestant because he had a letter written to Calvin. Yes. What? Calvin. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was amazing. But the questions yeah. that he was asking was, was this conversion of the heart or was this a conversion of, you know, political means or mm -hmm. um, right. some way to keep himself alive? Well, and we wanted or to make it, a comment on that too, remember? And in, in the notes, Terry, mm -hmm. our Terry here, yeah, yeah. she here wanted, tonight. She might pop in a, in a minute if she can. Yeah, yeah, she wanted to make a comment that some of what Josh was feeling and seeing was him from what he knows now. Exactly. And trying to understand something back in the 16th century. True. And we and we do. We have we tend to do that, don't we, as we research. We we we've got to put ourselves in their places if we, we can. Have to. So he he ends up Mary, did you want to go did you want to yeah. say something? Go ahead. Well, it, so it it was interesting to me. I, we're kind of jumping around, but on the show, um, it, like he started in Los Angeles at his house, talking to Jen, mm -hmm. and then he went to the heraldic office, and that's where they showed him the coat of arms. Yes, yes. and yes. then he went to Cambridge, and okay. they they had, and I I didn't count. I think there were like six or seven different locations that you need to then talk to this next expert mm -hmm. and then this mm -hmm. next expert and i it's just the structure of that episode more than any other episode i've seen i think as long as i've been watching who do you think you are um was really had him on a like a little merry-go-round and and, and, and isn't stop that what and we stop do when we research we have to get things but, from here and then move on to here and then move on to here <laughs> but it made me so curious about the research that they had done the background research for oh, the show so. and it's so. what i'm sure it wasn't they didn't run the same path actually that he ran once that they, did we lose her? Would love to talk to. I wish we could talk to somebody. I see what you're saying. Yeah. If like, we could. What made you? Yeah. Yeah. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. What? Why did you go in the way you went? And is it edited? Did Did it really go that way when they were filming? I don't. I don't know. Um, right. But, yeah. yeah. But don't yeah. you think they knew once they got that ancestor's name? Oh, they knew they, it all before he even left, before he even got on the plane uh, to go to London. They right, knew. Yeah, right, but what right. I'm saying <laughs> yeah. is once it hit to that on the tree, it was like, oh, my gosh, we know who this is. I'm sure you they know. most likely did. Yeah. They yeah. most likely <laughs> did. Yeah. yeah. Brackmaster. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Brackmaster. Brack Wait, what was the other name? He was the arch butcher. Oh, arch it was terrible. Yeah. It, was, it was terrible. I can't imagine 
you know, he's he's seeing, I mean, he wrote a play and he was all excited, you know, my, my ancestor has written this play and they feel like perhaps Shakespeare may have used it Influences. as an example. Yeah. 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 And that he was, he was uh, actually at court, you know, he, he, yeah. he was. Well, and he was working with Cecil, who was uh, Elizabeth's Elizabeth. right-hand man. Right, uh, right. And so and, to, to yeah. think about that, he was so, you know, proud. This is so cool that he's doing all this. But Thomas Norton made a big mistake. And he was like he wrote, in Josh's book. Oh, in oh, Josh's oh, oh book. Yeah, yeah, okay. well, I'm talking but, about I'm talking about when but, he wrote okay, the letter. Yeah. The letter. Right. When he said something about the marriage. Elizabeth, Elizabeth should not marry the Catholic yes. uh, right. uh, um, Frenchman. And and he she got mad about that. And here he had been taking people into the tower yes. and, and questioning them on the rack. Yeah. And then he got thrown <laughs> into the tower. Yeah, <laughs> for a few months because she didn't like what he'd said about her, yeah. you know, the marriage, the marriage that you know. So yeah, but but for him to, I was just, I have been, I have, I sick. have been in the tower. I have been in the Tower of London when I was a teenager. My dad was in the military, and we were stationed mm -hmm. in England for four and a half years. And I've been there a time or two. I got you know, you get tired of yeah. going well, and visiting, but now I'm like, oh, I want to go back again. <laughs> but I can remember the. It's just not a good feeling in that building, and you, you it's see that negative the, energy, right? And you see all yeah. those. You see the rack. I mean, it really is there, and you see all yeah. the other items they used to torture people yeah. with, and you just get and a bad feeling. Sites of executions. I yes. mean, you go, you know, there is where so and so had their head cut yeah, off. Exactly, I mean. and so to find out that your ancestor's name is on the plaque, on the depiction of the terrible things that happened in this very site. And to be right, able to right. look at the rack and know that he was the one that said, yeah, on the rack with you, you know, whatever they would say and put somebody on the rack and they would right. stretch them until they either said whatever it is they you know, even if it wasn't true, either I'm the, sure you would no say something. No separation, yeah. You know, right. but, it's almost like the witch trials. You either say you did it and get killed for a witch or say you weren't a witch and still get killed because you didn't. <laughs> so it's probably the same kind of thing. You know, you're going to get but, it either way. But for Josh, he literally was sick. Was. And if you remember back in the beginning, he talked about being a fallen Catholic too mm -hmm. and then coming back and he literally tries to go every week. So he's yes. reinvested himself in his faith. Right. Yeah. And, to, and he, and he said, yeah. you know, had I lived at this time with this ancestor, he would have been after me. Yes. Yes. You know, yeah. I, I but think see, he's still thinking of now. Yeah. He's not back yeah. then. You yeah. Know. I, I agree with you. And I think we have all read enough English history and seen enough movies and, you know, books and things like that to realize that a lot of that was just to save your own skin. You had to hop back and forth. Too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You had to hop power. back and forth depending on who was in power. Yes. You know, you yeah. had to pretend you were loyal to this uh, yeah. king or queen. And then when the other one took power, if they changed, suddenly you had to change and be yeah. loyal. Well, you know, you had to change your mind. And so I think a lot of what people went through back in that day was to avoid going in the tower <laughs> or, or the tower, all yeah. the other many horrible things that they would do to punish people. So because he did. Yeah. Once he got out of the tower, they sent him back to his where he lived, mm -hmm. and he started backpedaling, didn't he? He started saying, he did. "Oh, did he go back to being a Catholic though? Did you catch? No, I don't. I don't a well, Protestant. He not, not have. No, he he could not have no, because because it was Elizabeth was in power, right? And and that was a power. very Protestant yeah. race. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, exactly. it basically, mm -hmm. it you know, it it hopped from Catholic at the start of Henry the Eighth. Right to then Protestant when mm -hmm. he didn't get what he wanted and then Catholic for, for bloody Mary. But then as soon right. as Elizabeth <laughs> took, took the reins, then he, it yes. was okay. Catholic for, for now forever. And, and, and I'm sure, I'm sure many people, forever. I'm sure many people of the court, the noblemen, they felt the need to do that, to save their own lives and their own families' lives. Because if you profess to be the religion that's not in power, then you know, it, it was a political thing, I think, more than a religious thing. So I think Ireland and the Protestant Catholic um, 
things. Mm -hmm. And so similar, same thing, pretty, it, you know, same thing. Uh, I'm sure all of this still is present. We just don't have the torture, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but the differences are still there on Protestant and well, Catholics. Sure. Yeah, and sure. uh, I know when my daughter um, was getting ready to get married, I, I said, my baby gonna be okay over in Ireland. <laughs> you know? well, the first I'm sure she asked me, he <laughs> said, Is she Catholic or Protestant? Wow. And I said, yeah. look, she's a Christian. There you she go. Don't claim it just he said she should be all right long as she yeah. ain't you know because yeah. his family his parents were you know basically kicked out of the family it was mm -hmm. a catholic and a protestant that married mm -hmm. and yeah, there's um, been a lot of turmoil and, turmoil and, yeah over over religion and you can yeah. see how far back it goes you know how far back it goes and what people had to do mm -hmm. you know it, it, it was horrendous just horrendous so i i know that um Towards the end, I think he, he started thinking a little bit more about, you know, was this political and maybe because he he'd said he really yeah. had hoped that when he went in to the tower, they would tell him that, no, he was very lenient. And, no. and although he was the one that no. was, you know, doing all the, yeah. the interviewing and, and asking, you know, the rack monster did what, not. <laughs> what they really were afraid of is they were afraid that those labeled Catholic were yeah. trying to do something to harm and pull down Queen Elizabeth, that there were plots against yeah. her. And so that's what it was all about. It was trying to save the queen. We don't know what we would have done in the same situation. I hope <laughs> we wouldn't have been in there saying, pull them harder. Pull them harder until they confess. It. But we don't there was a, a lot more, uh, um, I, I mean, there were the political issues, there was the treason issues. Yes. Yeah. There's a lot of financial issues yes. as well that um, at, at, at one point they realized there's a lot of money, mm -hmm. a lot of assets in those monasteries. There is gold there is real estate and and so i mean there was mm -hmm. um there was yeah. a lot the of control, stuff going on the right. power and, and i the think power didn't really get into any of that power. in yeah. in, right. in josh's episode yeah, but exactly. yeah. it so wasn't just right political and saving your own skin that's right there was a lot of layers going into this mm -hmm. and we can't just look at it like Shelly was saying, and like Terry was saying in our in our chat um, when we were talking about this earlier, you can't put today's thinking on historical events. You just you just can't. That's one of the challenges that we put on ourselves. Exactly. A lot of times, our own brick walls could be something. Just because we don't have knowledge or exposure to say another record or a resource or information um, that could become our own brick wall because we lack knowing certain things mm -hmm. and um, especially with African-American research and if I'm in back during slavery time I can't take this 21st century thinking exactly. and go back there to the 19th century 18th century and really try to understand it. Right. Because you, it, yeah. we're not there because it's not just that one instance. You got to think of the whole environment. And, sure. and we're not at that point. Oh. And others too. And I think about the scholars and things and, and they're writing these books and they're giving their opinion. And again, here we're looking at the research. I want to make a comment on Dr. Ed Ayers. I don't know if you guys know him, mm -hmm. but you can Google him. He is at the University of Richmond. He's written several books. He's on the Backstory radio station here in Virginia. Very well known. Anyway, he was doing a presentation the other night, and it was a, with a genealogy group. And the group included genealogists, anthropologists, and uh, genetic biology, all, all of these folks, scholars, family historians. And so we have a group that comes together. We've been together about 10 years now, over 10 years. He made a statement during his presentation. 
He said, the genealogists are like 25 years ahead of us. And he's saying <laughs> as a historian, because of how we do it, and they do research differently. So it's amazing how this group comes together and, and all of these folks can share their input into one because mm -hmm. we all do a different track, but the genealogist does the all. That's and true. everyone else has their own avenue, you know, or their right. own lane that they're in where we're in everybody's exactly. lane. Exactly. We want it all. Well, sp <laughs> speaking, know. speaking of research, I, I think that <laughs> w my favorite part of this whole episode was when they wouldn't let him touch the book. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then he went back on him and told him, don't touch, don't touch the book. It was so, <laughs> so great. funny. Yeah. I mean, not even gloves, nothing. He's just going to touch it. Oh, no. <laughs> That was fun. But he had a couple, uh, quite a few funny moments mm -hmm, in there. Mm -hmm. It was just overwhelming. Yes. But then so again, he got yeah. disgusted, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, I think we all would. I think we all, when we find things like that in, yeah. our, in our family yeah. trees, it, it, sure. we need to process it. We need to yeah. step, take a step back, think about what we found, realize that, like we said, historical things are historical things and we cannot put modern thinking on right. them that doesn't make them right i'm just saying that it's, right. it's difficult and we weren't there and we don't know everything and that we didn't have cameras all standing yeah. exactly around. exactly mary what yeah. were you gonna say well just um you know i thinking about other historical people in that time and the choices that that they made thomas moore for example mm. um and he wouldn't tow Henry VIII's line, and he was executed for it. Yes, and yes, and so, and I, I am, I, I don't know, but I, um, I, I, I'm Catholic, raised Catholic. That is someone that that Catholics would be definitely taught about because sure. of that mm -hmm. example of standing up. And sure. he didn't. Josh didn't really talk about him, but I can't help but wonder whether that wasn't in the back of his mind and thinking, "Wish my aunt like that." Maybe compare and stand you up mean, against like whatever. Yeah. So you know, I mean, we are going to look kinds of things. Mm -hmm. um, uh oh, did we lose Mary? Guys, oh, cut out. She's kind of froze. She's <laughs> Rose just a little bit, but I understand what yeah. she's saying. Sure. You know, was sure. that in the back of his mind, knowing Catholic history? Was he hoping that his right. ancestor had been the one to stand up? But oh my yeah. gosh, you know? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah, that'd be that'd been hard. But it was a great episode. It was a great it episode. Was. I right. love that they were places where I had been and I'd love to go again with that on my mind thinking, oh, yeah. as I read that sign, oh, I know who he's related to. <laughs> <laughs> it puts a whole new spin on, you know, that plaque that's that's yeah. in that room. So yeah. with that. How will he tell yeah. his children about this? Well, I guess you just tell them history and this is what exactly. was happening in history. And this was his part yeah. in history. And we don't know. We, we don't we don't know that he wasn't threatened. If you don't do this, then your family right. something's going to happen to your. We just we just don't know. And, and and, you know, his ancestor made choices that that he thought were right were for right. Yeah. him and, at and, the time. And, and and what his beliefs were. Mm -hmm. And you you can't say that. Uh, it's hard. Um, it's hard to second yeah. guess what what somebody else right. has done. I mean, regardless if they're right or wrong. Yeah, regardless if it's in our eyes right or wrong, and probably wrong back then to be doing that to people. Because mm -hmm. Josh kept saying, I just kept thinking about um those poor people and what they went through. You yeah. Know? And, yeah. And at the hands of my mm -hmm. ancestor. So that was really tough. That was and really he was tough. young. Was Remember was like when his, he was at came? Uh, he was like what was 20s. he? Twenty, and then I think he was in his fifties as this was what, going on. So. Later, yeah. yeah. But yeah. to do, you know, that's 30, 40 years. Mm -hmm. So right. anyway, right. It, it was a it good, was it was a great episode good. and uh, <laughs> full of history and full of unsuspecting turns, twists and turns for poor Josh. So yeah. <laughs> with that, since we keep having technical difficulties and, and everybody yeah. popping in and out, oh, um, thank you so much.
for joining us tonight, ladies. I really appreciate you taking your time to do that. And with that, we will say thanks, everybody, for watching. And we will see you next time on Gen Friends. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.